What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Benchwire Podcast. Today, we got quite a bit to talk about, so we're just going to get right into it. Probably the biggest news from the past few days, uh, well, other than, I guess, today, because we have breaking news. Breaking news. Yeah, was that <laughs> Bears star linebacker Roquan Smith was traded to the Baltimore Ravens. Caught me by surprise, I'm not even going to lie, but then again, it, it's, you know. We knew he was on a trade block. Yeah, I mean... It was just a matter of it, it when he sense, was getting though, traded. It, yeah, it made sense because it was the Ravens, but yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think, listen, they took uh, LSU star, uh, what, Patrick Queen in the first round? No, first round. First round. It was the end of the first round. Do you remember? Um, What? The Ravens? Patrick Queen? Yeah, yeah it was the end of the him. first round. I think it was like the 20th pick. Um, You know, he hasn't really become what they expected. Uh, and I feel like Roquan Smith is kind of going to jumpstart that core. You know what I mean? Uh, Queen plays better on the outside, in in my opinion. And, yeah, I, I think I just like him a lot more on the outside oh, yeah. than up the middle. Roquan Smith, all-pro linebacker. It's a great linebacker to have on that defense. They needed a guy like that because Patrick Queen, he's good and all, but you need another linebacker in that uh, linebacker room. So I think Roquan Smith will, you know, help the Ravens be contenders, but I don't think they're at that level like the Bills and Chiefs are yet, but that's a good step in the right direction, and I really like the addition, and I think it will help them a lot. And then the breaking news, let's get right to that. TJ Hawkinson has been traded to the 6-1 and Minnesota Vikings for, let's see, 2023 second-round pick, 2024 third-round pick, and then uh, a 2023 fourth-round pick. Wait. Yeah. Okay. I it gets confusing the way that they were that. Uh, and then a twenty twenty four conditional fourth round pick. So quite a bit for T J. Hawkinson. It's an in division trade. So that's probably why they did give up so much. Yeah, that was crazy. I was surprised they went in division and I thought gave again. Him to I, the thought, Vikings, I thought but, you were joking when you said that. Yeah, but for all those draft picks, you got to do that trade. It doesn't matter. Even if you're playing them twice a year, it, mm-hmm. you're still rebuilding. You're the Detroit Lions. You know you're not going to win anything with him as of right now, but. You got a lot of draft picks for the future. I think it's a win-win. Yeah. So those are the two trades that kind of went down ever since, what, the uh, Robert Quinn trade, I guess, and yes. the Kadarius-Tony trade. Um, so did we talk I, about the Kadarius-Tony trade on the last? I don't think we did. Oh, actually, yeah, I don't know if we did. We did um, not. I forget what the trade was, the picks. Do you remember? Um, I believe it was a third-round pick and a fifth-round pick, and it wasn't a— conditional pick it was a compensatory pick because they got that pick for ryan poles leaving to the chicago bears so they got an extra third round pick and they gave it to the giants which i think it was a win for the giants Kadarius tony he did not see the field at all and he just wasn't a locker room fit and he wasn't a culture fit for the giants and i don't think dable liked him because i think he was healthy supposedly that's what he said so if he was healthy and not out there on the field, then he just wasn't a fit for us. And he was a bust. And we could have drafted a guy like Micah Parsons, but we traded back because Dave Gettleman thought Micah Parsons wasn't good enough with that pick. And we got an extra first-round pick, got Evan Neal because of it. So it is what it is, but we still don't have receivers right now, which is kind of depressing. Yeah, so I mean, when I saw the trade, the first thing I thought is, of course, he's going to be good for the Chiefs. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's just bound to happen. I feel like that's just kind of if how If he stays healthy, I don't know. Him and his hamstrings are just a weakness for him. He just can't stay healthy because of that. Um, but if he was healthy this whole time, then I don't know. I don't know what to think of it. Yeah. Anyways, we'll move on right here. Uh, if another trade pops up, we'll let you guys know during this Uh I guess we also have to mention, we are recording this on Tuesday at like 1 o'clock, so there's still three hours until the trade deadline. Yes. If any trades went down, we'll cover it on the next podcast, uh, unless obviously they happen during this podcast. But uh, on to the next thing, the 49ers, they beat the Rams 31-14. to We all knew that the 49ers were a good team, but what happened to the Rams? I mean, Stafford, he looks like he's regressing, and he's only 34. I mean, I say only 34. It is relatively mm-hmm. old for a quarterback, but... He's 34. He got seven touchdowns, eight interceptions. He's not even elevating the roster. He's like playing at like an average level. I don't even know if the Rams are going to make the playoffs unless they turn things around immediately. 
Here, I'll tell you what happened to the Rams. So they lost a guy named Von Miller, okay? That was uh, well needed. You need another pass rusher. And also, did you hear that the Brian Burns trade yeah, for did. the they two first-round picks? A bit. Yeah, they, they offered they, quite they a They were the team that it. offered the Rams for two first-round picks for Brian Burns. I think the only – although, you know, you think that that would pick – or, you know what? I think the reason you don't accept that, right, is because – it, it wouldn't be really anytime soon. You yeah, know what I mean, and because it's so I by think the, the time, Rams are done with first round picks. It's like by the times the like they, those picks would be good because they would pretty much be when they or when the Rams are a bad team. Yeah, right. The only issue is when you're trying to rebuild, you're kind of trying to do it right now. Mm-hmm. So it, that those picks aren't going to help you right now. You'd be getting rid of a, a you know a star player, a guy who has superstar potential for picks that are like four or five years down the line. True. And again, we don't even know what college football looks like that down the line. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, who else did the Rams lose? They lost Odell, right? Yeah. He lost a all-pro left tackle on Andrew Whitworth. And there's a lot of injuries right now for that Rams offensive line. So Stafford doesn't have much time to throw the ball. And their only good wide receiver at the moment is Cooper Cup. Because Allen Robinson could barely get open besides that Panthers game. And Tyler Higby, he's good, but he's nothing special. So, like, the offense is struggling because of that, and they don't have a clear number one running back because Cam Akers can't stay on the field. And then you got Daryl Henderson, who he's decent, but he's not, like, amazing running back like uh, Nick Chubb or a Derrick Henry type back. So I think the Rams should go out and get a guy, possibly, like Kareem Hunt by 4 o'clock. That's very possible. I don't know what it will take to get him. Probably a fourth-round pick. If they have one, we don't know. (laughs) But I think they need to go out and do something if they want to compete and make the playoffs this year. Yeah. So the next topic is the Seahawks. Uh, you're you're going to hate this. All right. The Seahawks have proved to the world that the Giants are human. All right. The Giants are human. They are. It's not, you know. Human? They're human. What do you mean? They're human. We beat so many great teams. We beat we beat the Ravens and the Packers okay. and then bums and then bums and then bums and Giants don't so, have receivers right now. Listen, we'll the, talk about it. we'll talk. The Seahawks about. beat them twenty seven thirteen. Uh, towards the end, it was pretty much a beat down. Yeah. Uh, it would. I mean, listen. Thanks to Richie James. The, the issues that the Giants had, <laughs> yeah, are what most people would have expected. Uh huh. The Giants secondary they struggled throughout the game. Lockett had like three touchdown opportunities he only got one of them but he had like three of them he did and the Giants offense oh what happened Texans Brandon Cooks okay they're looking at trade scenarios right for him right now I thought that was breaking news okay okay um he's getting notifications yeah Live. so the Giants offense pretty much wasn't able to keep up with the Seahawks offense right well, the thing is, right, they in that weren't. fourth quarter. They, they, no, they were not. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Throughout I know. the game they did, but the, then when. The passing yards, yeah, yeah. Passing what, yards, called? we the, don't have uh, a passing game right now, right? We yeah, don't have receivers. What's it called? The, the, Those what, two what's turnovers. That, what's that final hour called? What do you mean? The, the fourth quarter? <laughs> no, no, the red zone. What they always, they call it something, where wins become losses. I don't know. Losses become wins. I don't know what you're something talking about hour. here. Uh, but listen to me. So, the game, it was a one possession game. I'm not, n- listen. We're not here for your excuses. All right, it's we're not moving. excuses. No, we're not here for those. All right, I'm, we're going to move on. The Giants were not able to keep up with a scorching hot Seahawks offense at the end of the game, well, and the because, recipe is out there for those who want to be the Giants now. Well, yeah, it's because we had turnovers, and whoever has the most turnovers will lose the game in every NFL football game. You know that. We played perfect football the first few weeks. Why do you think we won those games? When we have turnovers, the recipe we is will... out there now. That's for every game. The recipe. If no, you have more I'm turnovers, not about the turnovers. Yes, yes. I'm not talking about those. Yes, because you guys got beat more than just the turnovers. No. Yes. If say we got the ball back, I think we had a shot at scoring a touchdown. No. Maybe. The way Saquon guaranteed. was rushing the second half. He Sa- was... Sa- this is what I was about to talk about. Is that listen like. If you want to beat the Giants, you stack the box against Saquon because they got no receivers. Make Daniel Jones throw the ball. Yeah, That's simple. I know. They'll beat the Giants. They're cause listen, you might have a good coaching staff, but talent beats coaching. Well, yeah. And so they have the better roster. And so I'm trying to say that if you want to beat the six and what? Six and two New York Giants. Yes. It's not as hard as it is it seems like it was. Stack yeah. the box against Saquon. Well don't let him go off. That's, That's what, what teams been have been doing. doing. That's yeah. what teams have and been so, doing, stacking the box. But we still found ways to win. 
Yes, but now that we have... It's because... I'm telling you, the reason why we lost that when game... When you go against be- better secondaries, who yes. can cover a guy like Darius Slayton... Yes. You're going to lose those games because you guys don't have receivers. You're and saying the Seahawks that, don't have a good secondary. They do have a good secondary. Well, yeah. Which is why you lost. <laughs> I know. But Slayton was had a decent game. He had like 70 yards, five receptions. That's not bad for well, when, when a you guy like guy Slayton. You can throw to. Well, yeah, Wandale was not an X factor because they have guys that can cover, but Slayton didn't have a bad game. You're saying Slayton had a bad game. I didn't say he had a bad game. Well, you're saying we have no receivers, but he had a decent you don't. game. Other than Slayton and Wandale, yeah, we have no one. We have no one. Practice squad I, guys. Wandale's nobody, too. Wandale will be good. Give him time. He's coming back from injury. I'll give him time, but right now we're talking about the Giants. Right now, the 6-2 and two Giants, yes. he's a non-factor. He will be a factor. Give him time. But Trust he, me. Right now, again, we're talking right now, right he's now, a non-factor. I know. So, listen, I think that right now, th- this is what my point was, okay? All right, let's listen. Let's listen. My point is, the Giants, if you want to beat that recipe, trade for a receiver. Well, that's n- that's how you fix it. I was because about right to curse, but I'm like not allowed. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no idea. Like, I think the Giants need to trade for a receiver. Yes, they need to do that because we need a number one threat. Possibly, you know, there's a guy on the roster that could be that guy, but he's just not right now. His name's Kenny Galladay. We need him to get healthy. Um, any ounce of, you know, him trying and being a decent football player, I think will help us in the long run. But we haven't seen it yet. He's just looked slow off release, like off routes. Hasn't been that type of receiver that we need him to be. But I say you don't, you know, get rid of all these draft picks. Like, Jerry Judy, I would say the most I give up for him is a second. Do not trade a first for him. DJ Moore, I would not trade a first for him. With that well, contract— this is, Okay, well, this is why you won't get a receiver. Well, yeah, we will not get a receiver. I, I don't think we will get a receiver, unless it's like, I don't know. I would give up probably a third-round pick for K.J. Hamler right now. Is he on the trade block? I don't know. But— If you offer them a third, they would accept that instantly. Instantly? Yeah. Okay. What's he proved? Well— you can't prove anything with that offense right now. Um, but the Giants, the reason why they lost that game is because of the turnovers. It, they have to play a complete, perfect football game in order to win every game. And so far, we've seen that through six games, right? That's why they're six and two. Those other two games, they had turnovers. So if you make the Giants turn the ball over, they're probably going to lose that game, and that's what happened. So that, that's my little spiel. I'm gonna stick with my point though. Is it, I feel like well, yeah. You, you stack uh, the box. You make Saquon not play, and get his 100 yard no, games. That's not they're was, not gonna that's win. That's not what I was trying to talk about. Well, that's what you said earlier. That is what I said earlier. And you said the Giants I, I, have no I receivers. Had multiple points. I was gonna go back to one of them. Okay, here we go. And it was about the trade. Let's listen. Let's listen. I let's think, listen. I think it would be an injustice to your roster or how like your team right now to not get them a receiver. But like, they're playing. who is out there right now? There's plenty of guys out there, but you have to is, give up picks. But That's see, how the NFL works. If you want to trade, you want a receiver, you're not going to scam anybody. You have to overpay. See, the Giants aren't trying to win this year. They're a rebuilding team. And right now, b- them being 6-2, and two, no one thought they'd be 6-2. and two. It's good they're 6-2. and two. It's good for the future. Like, it shows that you have guys and Saquon and possibly Daniel Jones being the franchise guy. We don't know yet. It's good that they're winning. But I don't think they're going to give up future draft picks to make the team better right now. They're not trying to win right now. They're not trying to win. They're not a team that— I don't, I don't see compete. why you wouldn't do it for somebody that is an established young receiver like Jerry Judy. Well, but you he, don't he's give established, up. but like he, he still needs to work on some things. You but like DJ Moore, established, and he's still very young. We can't afford DJ Moore. We don't make have the, the cap speed. <laughs> How, how do you do that? We we don't have the money right you now. You hire Howie Roseman. He'll do it. Yeah, okay. We, it's we, not that hard. You just have to Joe do restructures. Shane, we will have do the cap guys, space next year. Do you guys year. have selfless players on that team that will accept a restructure? Uh, They already did, and they're already cut. Who? <laughs> Blake Martinez restructured his deal. They cut him. Um, James Bradbury didn't I'm, want I'm to restructure like, his like deal. Right we now. cut him. We're right still now. paying him. Right now on this team, who are we paying right now? Kenny Galladay, will he do that? Like Probably you you not. You have no money, but like, who, who the heck is getting paid so much money then? Kenny Galladay. Okay, but realistically, Leonard now, Williams. Now, nowadays, though, when you look at the, what the receivers are making now, 
Kenny's getting paid a lot, but he's not getting paid something where it's going to destroy your roster. Uh, it is destroying our roster. He's not playing like the receiver he's getting paid as. Well, be. obviously. So if well, how much is Leonard making? He's making like twenty two a year. Why would you do that? Well, <laughs> Dave Gettleman did that, not Joe Shane. I guess, but but like I'm saying, receiver wise, you only trade draft picks if it's a win win deal for you. You don't give up future picks. I would not you, give if up you a were first. Told right now, okay, that DJ Moore could be a New York Giant for what? It, don't like don't worry about the money, right? For what draft pick? The Panthers are on the phone with you. Mm-hmm. They're saying we will give you DJ Moore. Give us a second round pick, and then have that second round pick be conditional. That could become a first. Mm-hmm. Because of how talented DJ Moore is, you guys know that you can lock DJ Moore up. Would you do the trade? A second round pick, yes. That is, but that will become, become a first. first. Kind of like the one with the went. Like we don't have him. a second round pick that will that's conditional though, so that wouldn't happen. Uh, what do you mean? A conditional. We have to trade a conditional second round pick. No. What are you saying? That second round pick would be conditional if DJ Moore meets certain statistics. You they that second becomes your first rounder this year. I'm confused. <laughs> you don't know how the conditional pick works? Well so DJ Moore. Yes. What are we giving up for DJ Moore? A second round pick. It's it's guaranteed a second round pick, but when he gets to the Giants, right? Yes. He puts up well with where we are in the season, let's say he puts up like five hundred yards with you guys, maybe yes. six hundred, three plus touchdowns, plays all these snaps and is healthy. Because of you guys are getting that good of a player, that second round pick, you guys can keep that second round pick, but then they get your first. I wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that for DJ Moore? No. I don't think I don't think DJ Moore is we're, a great... we're on like a we're on like a very long Giants thing. I'm sure you'd love this. Oh, I love this. I don't know if the fans love it, but um Listen, they can skip this, obviously. Yes. But um I, been I, I'm for a interested minute. in talking about the Giants because obviously the NFC East and all that. Um but DJ Moore, he's a good receiver. I don't think he's a top 10 receiver. I wouldn't give up a first-round pick. Only receivers I would give up first-round picks for are players that are top 10. That's how I feel. I guess. but I don't I think DJ like Moore's a top 10 receiver, though. And I he feel can like be if he's utilized. We can easily find receivers in the draft. They're so easy to find. If you scout right, you can find any receiver in the draft. And I think DJ Moore... We will have to worry about that money. You're saying we don't have to worry about the mo- that money. I, w- we will have to worry about that It was theoretical. Okay. I'm, I'm not saying right now that they're on the phone. They're like, by the way, we'll do it. Like, yeah. yeah. It's, I, don't, I wouldn't do it, in my opinion. I would not do okay. it. If it's a first-round pick, I don't think DJ Moore is a top-10 receiver right now. All right. Well, there was our Giants 20-minute uh, conversation. No. <laughs> we've only been recording for 18 minutes. It's okay. So it hasn't huh. been 20 minutes. Felt like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I hate to have this conversation because I love Zach Wilson, but he's been rough to watch since returning. Like, he'll occasionally have, like, a good pass. You know what I mean? But the consistency is, like, not there whatsoever. I, I think it's too early to be thinking about potentially getting a new quarterback, but it's not too early to ask your second overall pick to start showing some signs of improvement. He has a Get this, because you know what Daniel Jones' numbers are this year, right? Not, they're nothing special, but they're winning numbers. You know, as of right oh now. wow, the Nets are fire. Oh my Nash. god, <laughs> I just saw that. Wow, more Wo- breaking news, Woj but bomb. different sport, <laughs> different sport, but yeah, Woj different bomb. Sport. Uh, okay, so when you hear these numbers, you'll you'll understand this. He has a fifty-four point nine percent or fifty-four point nine completion percentage. That's not good. That's awful. That's awful. He has a seventy-one quarterback rating. Yes. Awful. Yes. He has four total touchdowns and five interceptions. Mm-hmm. That's it. Nothing now, I know Brees Hall, obviously, they give him ball in the end zone, all that. The numbers are not there. And, uh, again, I, I think, you know, it's a little weird because, uh, listen, I know he got hurt. He I think the Eagles hurt. preseason game, right? Yes. So Week one preseason. Yeah, that, that entire Jets camp, all we heard was that Wilson looked elite and that you know, he's going to have such a great season. I'm just wondering why we haven't seen really any of those improvements. Well, I've told you from the start of the season, I don't believe Zach Wilson is a franchise quarterback. And the stats are proving it. But they've been winning games because they've built a team around Zach Wilson. Do I think Zach Wilson will take the Jets to a Super Bowl? No. Are the Jets built for a Super Bowl? 
No. But I think the Jets could easily find another quarterback in the next two, three years when his rookie contract's over and replace Zach Wilson. I just don't think he's that guy that you're going to have 10-plus years with on that roster. Yes, he's been okay, but he's not a franchise quarterback. I don't even know if—listen, I love Zach Wilson. I don't even know if he, he, he would be okay. You don't think he's okay? He's been below average. They're winning games. They're, they're they are, above like, 500 right you, you now. Know, they if you know, the if you listen, if you watch the games, you know it's not Zach Wilson that's doing that. I know. Well, the roster is built around him. That's why he's winning these games. He, I think right now Zach Wilson is probably a bridge quarterback and a game manager that can win you games right now. Sort of. I don't even know sort if he's a game manager because he just doesn't play like it. But yeah, I, I just don't whatever. think he's a franchise guy. I think the Jets will still be bad enough to get a like top five quarterback in the next like two to three years whenever his contract's over. So I don't think he will get a second contract after his rookie deal. Mm-hmm. The Raiders, they got shut out 24 nothing, And I think right now it is only a matter of time until Josh McDaniels is fired. This I team agree. went 10 and 7 last year. Or not, sorry, not this team. The team last year went 10-7. They are a better team than that team, right? Would you yes. agree with that? Yes. So, and listen, they, they lost their coach midseason because of, you know, racist allegations, all that stuff. Yep. And then they lost their wide receiver one due to stupidity. And <laughs> yes, they went through all of that, and they ended up being 10-7. and seven. All of that adversity, they're not facing adversity this year other than their head coach. <laughs> 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 and they shouldn't be 2-5. and five. And uh, that's because of coaching. That's not the roster not playing well. It's the coach. Yeah. So I just wanted to put that out there. I wanted to talk about that. I'm really upset. I, I had such high hopes for the Raiders this season. I know you had higher hopes because you had them I being did second, have in, the second in the division. division right now. Were they fourth? No. I, I wanted to see them in the playoffs. How many I think ones they have right now? Two. So the Broncos are third place. Yeah. They're, okay. they're still one of the worst teams in the league right now. Oh, my. And it, it right now, it's they're, they're not going to make the playoffs. I I, I'm ready to count them out. Um, yeah, because there's no way they're coming back from well, that. And if they do, I think <laughs> you could still win games if you make one decision right now. You fire, fire Josh, Josh McDaniels. McDaniels. You fire Josh, and McDaniels. then go to Green Bay. <laughs> go to Green Bay. Get your guy. Get your guy back. And Rich, what's his last name? No fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rich Sriracha. Close enough. I, He's not a hot sauce, but I can I can Google it. Um, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I think you should give that guy another opportunity. But I don't think you could steal him from Green Bay mid season, so I, that won't work. But yeah. <laughs> I say you interview him again. Yeah, and see if you know he makes the rounds of head coaching. Oh, Rich Basacha. I there was close. Is. Sriracha Basacha, same thing. But I think he was a better head coach than Josh McDaniels thus far. Yep. They have a winning they had a winning record with him and they made the playoffs. So with that being said, I think McDaniels does need to get yep. fired by the end of the season at All least. Right. But yep. I don't know. All right, we're gonna try to kinda hurry up a little bit of this. I have a test after this uh, it's really unfortunate. I really don't want to take it. Uh, but I that's unfortunate. I haven't studied for it really. Yeah. So instead I, we're doing bench I, I need yeah bench yes. is more important. Uh, it is. But I, I do need to like save ten minutes to like look over stuff. Yeah. So uh Travis Etienne, first game as the Jack starting running back, 156 yards on 24 attempts. That's six point five average. He had a touchdown as well. Question is, is he going to live up to his expectations? I think so. Um I like him. He has a lot of speed. He's really fast. They played the Broncos though, so Connor who horse. has more known have, for their defense. Well, yes, yes, but they're three and. But five. there's a reason that they're more known for their defense because their offense is that bad. Yes, yes, but their um, defense is not bad. I will calm down on the Travis Etienne hype for now. But that, the question isn't. It's throughout his career. Is he going to live up to his expectations? That I, I what's just, his I expectations? Just, uh, expectations? Yeah. What's his expectations? Well, he was a first round running back, and okay. everyone knows that you don't take a running back in the first round. So if you're going to take Do one in the first round, be a they top better ten running back. back. He could be. I think he has the potential. Um. So is that your expectations? My potential is top ten. Yeah. I think he'll okay. eventually. He'll you think he'll be a career. top ten back throughout his career? He'll yes. find some seasons. Yeah. Will he stay? Well, he got a second contract from the Jaguars. That's the question, too. If Trevor Lawrence is there. Yeah, they're buddies. Okay. Um, well, if they pay him. but <laughs> He has looked good, but when you look at it, the games he was really good against was 
this past game against the Broncos, the Giants' run defense is nothing special right now. They've been allowing 100 yards to Kenyon Drake, Travis Etienne, and then Kenneth Walker almost got there. So, with that being said, I think you calm your horse right now on Travis Etienne. I don't think he'll be a top 10 back. I don't think he even gets that second contract. But I think he could be a top 15 back for you know a different team after his second or for a second contract. I don't think he will be getting a big payday from the Jaguars. I don't know. He I mean, he's he, been good he, so he, far. He's a first round pick. He'll have a fifth year option, so he's got plenty of time now. Yeah, yeah. I think he'll be good, but not good enough to get a second contract with the Jags. All right. Bengals got blown out by the Browns last night on national television. Yes, it was, they did. It was ugly. Browns are four and four. They have not found their stride. Uh, we we thought they might have found it. Mm-hmm. I thought they did, but clearly not. Are the Bengals going to make the playoffs? Me personally, uh, yes. Four and four is not like two and five for the Raiders. Four and four is you're one win away from being over five hundred. Yes, I think the AFC is very competitive right right now. They have a lot of good teams. Uh. They're gonna have to obviously make it over teams like the Jets and like who like have records right now where they would. They will. Yeah, and that's what I. That's what my point is. I think they will. So uh, I think the Bengals will make it. I think they're gonna be a wild card team. They might be the last wild card team. Um, but yeah, they will make it in my opinion. Well, I see. The reason why they struggle last night is because of that offensive line. That offensive line still is not good yet. And the Browns have one. I, I'm gonna get to that later. It's and the Browns have one of the. Best defensive fronts in this league. You got Miles Garrett. You got Clowney. You got great linebackers, right? And I don't think the Bengals' offensive line could have stopped that, which is concerning. But I still think the Bengals, with Joe Burrow, with Jamar Chase when he comes back healthy, with Joe Mixon, with Tyler Boyd, with T. Higgins, they're a playoff team. I think they'll be fine. They're 4-4. Four and four. I know they struggled in games but the games they're struggling in is the games that the offensive line is not protecting Joe Burrow. So I think the Bengals will be fine. They'll ride the horse and make sure they win those games and get in the playoffs. Yeah. Tennessee Titans, they're 5-2. and two. I don't think they look it. Derrick Henry is doing his thing, which is why they're 5-2. and two. But the receiving, the receiving core still scares me. Uh, Robert Woods was a good pickup. He hasn't really done what Robert Wood type things yet. Uh, I think that they need to trade for a receiver at the deadline or they're not going to go far in the playoffs. I think Brandon Cooks is a pretty good fit for them. Uh, all the Titans wide receivers, like combined, uh, is 658 yards. That's it. And A.J. Brown has AJ more Brown, receiving yards. He has all 659. Them. That's one yard more. Just him. One guy. So <laughs> an all-time fumble by the Titans and obviously an amazing pickup by the Eagles. But, yeah, coming back, they got to trade for a receiver, in my opinion, because they're not – I mean, if they want to compete this year, they need a receiver. Traylon Burks, you need to let him develop, but you need somebody else right now that you can – like, Brandon Cooks, he has a contract. Like, if you trade for him, you get him for the next, what, three years? Yeah. So, yeah. You think they go out and get a Brandon Cooks-type receiver? I think they can. I think they should. I would try and get a younger receiver. I would try and get Jerry Judy if you can, but. I, would, I mean, obviously, I'll try to get one of them because you obviously realize that you made a massive mistake. And plus, I don't know if the Texans pull a card out of the Lions book and yeah, trade in division. division. But um, I think the Texans know that they're a few years away. Brandon Cooks is only getting older. So it, it, I think the timing would match up well. True. And then obviously they can ask for more because of the same division. More like DJ Moore? <laughs> um, but I think they do need to go out and get a receiver. Um, but will they do it? I don't know. Do they have the draft capital? Yes. But, like, you got to make sure you're not overspending for a receiver. You could have had a guy like A.J. Brown. You still could have had Corey Davis. But according to a recent interview, they didn't want to pay Corey Davis. And we heard this past offseason, they did not want to pay big money to A.J. Brown. And now I think they're trying to realize that you need to start paying some money for receivers. When you see A.J. Brown making big plays every Sunday for the Eagles, you realize you messed up. So you got to... You know, realize that you need to pay receivers and try and get a receiver by four o'clock today. If they do, that's great, but I don't think they would. I don't think they will. They know this team isn't going to be a Super Bowl contender, so I say you figure out this offseason. DeAndre Hopkins, he played two games now uh, this season 22 receptions in those, or throughout those two games, 262 yards, a touchdown. He's averaging 11.9 yards 
per reception, which is practically a first down per catch. Uh, so it raises the question, is he, yet again, a top three receiver in the league? Yes. Is it, is it too early to say this? No. Maybe. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I think he is a top three receiver. He is that good. He gets open. Did you see he, that touchdown catch on Sunday? Yeah. He gets open. All the time. He's got, you know, he's, he's got plenty of speed, too. People tend to think he's slow. He's he, a difference maker. Yeah. Like, he, he is. I mean, he, he is slow, but, like. He's I the mean, number one receiver uh, you want to have on your team. Yeah. Like, I heard his name in trade rumors, too, but I don't think it happens. Nah. I heard it. I don't know. All uh, right. So, before we get to buy and sell, it is the trade deadline. Mm-hmm. So, we got to do traded or not traded. So, I have a bunch of names that I've seen from rumors, whatever. We're going to go through them. We're going to say whether we think they're going to get traded or not. All right. Mm-hmm. Going to make this one pretty quick. Just kind of like, again, like buy or sell. Say traded, not traded. You know, give a sentence why. You know what I mean? Let's do it. Number one, Antonio Gibson of the Washington Commanders. I don't think he's getting traded. Reason? Ron, or yeah, Ron Rivera said he's not. <laughs> so what are you saying? Buy or sell? It's not a buy or sell, bro. I said not traded. Okay. I thought you said we're doing buy or sell. No, this is before buy or sell. Oh, okay, okay. Is this, Antonio... is, this is called traded or not traded. Okay. I Running wasn't back, listening. Antonio Gibson. Of course you weren't listening. <laughs> Is, he's looking at yourself. Is he going to be, uh, what? No, I was looking at the computer right down what time it is for the chapters for you guys. Um, but is he going to get traded? No, he's not going to get traded. He's no. not worth trading for, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, Colts running back Naheem Hines. I think that he will be traded. I think that he kind of offers that receiving back that some teams need. Uh, yeah, I think he'll get traded. How about this? I say he gets traded and gets traded to the Eagles. Uh, I don't see it. Okay. I think... Boston Scott's good enough. Uh, running back Kareem Hunt traded, not traded, traded. Browns have no reason not to trade him. You got to get something for him. He's not going to stay with you guys. He will be traded. And breaking news: Irv Smith Jr. is sidelined eight to ten weeks with an ankle injury. That's that why they explains. traded for yeah. T.J. Hawkinson, and they want to be that's such a Bowl weird one too. This year to like Vikings easily so could get like a got him. yeah. You could easily get like a backup tight end. They were like, oh, just go get Hawkinson. Yeah, just get that guy. Yeah, Hawkinson's gonna be the main guys anyway. Yeah, the main but guy anyways. I. Other than that, I do believe Cream Hunt gets traded. There's plenty of teams that could go out and get him. The Rams, the Bills, the Eagles, all people that want to compete this year should go out and grab Kareem Hunt. Running back Cam Akers. Does he get traded? Not traded. I don't think he gets traded because he's not that good. And, yeah. and it's well, also, I, don't, you, I don't think the Rams want to give the up. The most I would yet. trade for him would probably be a sixth or a seventh right now. Nothing special. That is disgusting. Uh, <laughs> wide receiver Jerry Judy, not traded. Jerry Judy not traded. I agree. Simply because the Giants made an offer and they they Broncos pretty much said no. You need to like double everything you just did. Yeah, and I believe the Giants <laughs> like will the not price give is too high. The yeah. future for a guy in Jerry Judy who's not yeah. even a top ten receiver. Yeah, right the now. price is way too high for him. Yes. Uh, wide receiver DJ Moore not traded. Not traded. His contract you can't move it right now, and they want to build around guys. Yeah, they want to build the around Panthers, DJ Moore. For the Panthers, you need like franchise pieces. They're going to keep DJ Moore, Brian and, Burns. And good for them. Good for yeah. them to keep those two. You Lots of teams to. could easily just ship them away. They're like, no, we we got it. We got some picks. Yeah. We're fine. <sighs> Wide receiver Kenny Gallaudet. Oh yeah, Kenny Gallaudet. <laughs> what about him? <laughs> Not traded. Does he get traded? No, because his I contract think it's also, is immovable dude, right now. <laughs> you can't trade that I away. Said, listen, I had to throw him on there for the jokes. After the Wide jokes. receiver. Wide receiver. Wide receiver Brandon Cooks traded. I think he gets traded to where I don't know, but some team that needs a receiver. Maybe he goes back to the Rams. There, I have this weird idea that he could go to the Bills. That would be good for them. But then Odell might be out of the equation then. It would be. Wide receiver Kendrick Bourne. He's got a little bit of uh, some rumors going around. I would love to see him get traded. I think he's got potential, but I don't think he'll get I traded. I don't think he'll get traded because he has really good chemistry with Mac Jones, and I would see, or I would hate to see him leave the mm-hmm. Patriots. So. Wide receiver Elijah Moore. Don't think he's going to get traded. I think they're going to try to work through it. I think that he'll, if he were to get traded, it'll be in the offseason. I'm gonna say he is gonna get traded. Um, even though I said we're not, we're not shopping. We're not shopping Elijah Moore. Yeah, Robert Sala said that. Yeah, Joe Shane said that about uh, Kadarius Tony. Look what happened. And uh, Dave Gettleman said that about Odell. Look what happened. Um, but yeah, I think he's gonna be gone. All right. Cornerback Greedy Williams of the Browns. I think he will be traded. Yeah. Is he on the trade block? Yeah. Okay. Then he's gonna be traded. <laughs> I didn't even know that. 
Yeah, uh, he hasn't really done much since getting into the league. He has some potential. He's had good plays. I think a team will take a risk on him. Uh, would love to see a team that is kind of that needs that secondary boost. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, don't know who that would be at the moment. Maybe it, it might even be the Bengals, considering that the Bengals uh, just lost a Wuzier for what seems like it could be the season. Um, yeah, William Jackson. Do you think he's getting traded? Uh, no, because he's going to be cut instead. I think his he contract will, I, is too much money for a team to take on right now. And they know he'll be cut. Yeah, I'd probably say if he were to get traded, it would be for like a seventh. It's going to be for nothing. But just because they already put out there that he's probably going to get cut. Yeah. Uh, but I yeah, think I think traded. that he won't get traded. I think people will just try to get him in free agency or whatnot, or waivers, whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, defensive end Bradley Chubb. Not traded. Not traded. I think the Broncos still believe in what they have. I, I don't think that they're ready to start. Unless they get the like an amazing offer, like two first round picks. I, yeah, I they, they, they have would have to, to take that. Yeah, they would have to take that. I don't think he's they worth two first round yeah, picks. They just gave them up. And then last but not least, Brian Burns, not traded. Not uh, traded. They already said they're not going to trade him. He's I just a had franchise to put him on there. Piece. You got to keep him. I just had to put that on there because, you know. Might as well. You have to. Uh, sure, I'm missing some other guys. Didn't expect to have to put TJ Hawkinson on there. But um, yeah, good <laughs> good chunk of the guys were on that list. Um so, yeah, that lets us go to our buy or sell. Number one, Justin Fields has shown the most improvement among 2020 draft quarterbacks, Lawrence, Wilson, Jones, and Mills. I'm going to – I don't even think this one through. <laughs> uh, improvement, like, obviously that means, like, he might not be better right now than, like, Lawrence or Jones, but he's shown more improvement as in, like, going upwards. I'd actually say yes. I I'd think he's. That. I think he's gonna be the best quarterback out of them. So I'm gonna buy that. And he didn't has you shown... just say the other week that you didn't like Justin Fields and don't think he's gonna be the franchise quarterback? Did I just catch you slipping? Oh wait, I thought you said Trevor Lawrence. No. Oh. Okay. Justin Fields. Oh, I thought you said Trevor Lawrence. My bad. <laughs> um, I thought I just caught you slipping. No, no, no. I heard Trevor Lawrence. Um, Justin Fields is he gonna be the best out of them? No. I didn't say that. What I said you... as of now, he has shown the most improvement. Let me guess. You didn't pay attention because you're doing the time thing again. I was doing the time thing again. Um, wait, Justin Fields is showing the most improvement? He has shown the most improvement out of all the quarterbacks in that class. I, I'm buying that. Uh, maybe with his legs, but not his arm talent. So, no, I'm not As, buying well, that. Well, I'm looking at the last two games because I think he's actually shown these last two games. Like, oh, he actually has it. I still think Trevor Lawrence has been better this year, in my opinion. All right. So, I'm selling that. Number two, Matt Corral of the Carolina Panthers will become the most successful quarterback out of Pickett, Willis, Ritter, and Howell. Matt Cur- no. Sell. I think he could be a franchise quarterback. Sell. I like Matt Corral a lot. I like Kenny Pickett more. I like Kenny Pickett more, though, so that is why I'm going to sell that. I'm but I do this. think that Matt Corral could be that man. All right, I'm listening. All ears now. I'm yeah. sorry. Number three, <laughs> Seattle Seahawks. Seahawks? Bro, jeez. What am I doing? <laughs> They're hacking. The Seattle Seahawks. Won the Russell Wilson trade despite us not knowing who they'll end up getting from those draft picks. I'm buying that. That's so hard because it's only been, what, halfway through the season? Um, As of right now, yes, I'm buying that they won the trade, but maybe Russell's still hurt. Maybe it's because of Nathaniel Hackett. Russell will still be there next year and the year after and the year after because of that contract. So will my God, you know. No. <laughs> hey, I think he might stay. Well, um, yeah, he will, but he will. They'll probably have a quarterback um, sit behind did- him. As of right now, they have won the trade, but we got to come back a you know year what I from see? now. What? You know what I see? With how Gino's playing and how they're not going to have a, a low pick other than maybe that Broncos pick, which I don't think would be low enough to get some of the top quarterbacks, they might end up taking a guy like Will Levis and let him sit behind Gino for a year. You know what I mean? I don't think they'll have a high end. Oh, wait, they do because they have the Broncos, Broncos pick. Okay. But then I don't even know why you – I think that you would just build a roster for your quarterback in the future, not get the quarterback now. Yeah, there's better quarterbacks you can wait on yeah. than Will Levis. So you're going to buy that right now? I am buying that they did win the trade as of right. right now. Number four, the Green Bay Packers made a big mistake giving Aaron Rodgers a four-year, $200 million deal. No, because they just haven't built the <laughs> team around yeah, him. Yeah, I was going to sell that too. I think that the He doesn't have receivers, weapons. Yeah, every you good quarterback has receivers. Romeo Dobbs is your best target right now. Every quarterback in the NFL, other than Aaron Rodgers, has had – Weapons this year, False. I feel like who? Daniel Jones does not Slayton. have any weapons. No. He's not. He's not a weapon. Okay. Okay. Fine. I forgot you guys existed. I'm sorry. Okay. My bad. Yes. Other than that, I can't think of a team that doesn't have like some receiver. You know what I mean? Um, I would say the Titans don't have any weapons. Robert was. He's not a weapon. He, he would be he's, the best target that the Giants or Packers would have. He's washed though. 
He's, he's not, not like washed. He's coming off of a big injury. What are you on? He's washed. Um, You're just a hater. I don't think he's a weapon. When you say weapon, like A.J. Brown, that's a weapon, right? Okay, well, not every team has those. Well, that's what I thought you mean by that, a weapon. No, just we- like something. <laughs> something? Well, I, the Giants well, don't have that, something. Now that you brought the Giants, I have two teams that don't have something. <laughs> yes. Um, but what was the question? One more time. The Packers made a mistake given Aaron Rodgers that No, deal. they did I not. saw that on the comment. I'm selling I did not that. write that one. Okay. I'm selling that. I believe they just need to build around him. Yeah. Number five, Cliff Kingsbury of the Arizona Cardinals will be fired after this season. I'm buying it. I am selling that. I believe the team is just not built yet to win. All they have is, what, D-Hop and then your guy. No, 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 no. They say they're not built to win. They, they're they are. They're fine. They got a good offensive line or an okay offensive line. They don't line have a good rest. offensive line. They have Ronnie Hudson. They have a few they guys. They have a tough division. Like, that division is so tough to, like, be in the playoffs every year. To say that they don't have a roster to win is actually that's They don't. Yes, they do. James Conner, their lead back, has been hurt, like, He's fine. most of the season. Eno Benjamin's that guy. Eno Benjamin's been decent, but nothing special. Listen, and I'm saying right now. A.J. Green's listen, washed. Listen, just saying there's a difference between they're ready to win now than saying they are a Super Bowl contender. They are not a What's Super Bowl contender. What's their record right now? I don't know. You're supposed to know. I don't know. Regardless, it's it's bad. I don't think he'll be <laughs> Which fired. Which is why I think he would be fired. I don't think he'll be fired. They've had some injuries. But you, you're you looking at it the wrong way. You're looking at it as um, they are not ready to win. Yes, they are. They can win games. The fact is that they are not a Super Bowl contending team. That's what takes time to get. Well, There's they, a big difference. They have a tough schedule, and it's hard to win in this league. And I don't think Cliff Kingsbury will be fired. He's, it, I think he's, what, one game below 500 right now. Two. I don't think he'll be. All right, two, right? But look who they've been playing. They've been playing good teams, right? Okay. So, But what, they have a good team themselves. They, they don't have win. a good team. Yes, they do. They don't have a good team. Yes, they do. That they team have is a good. decent team. Last year, last year, what was do they not have? What do they not healthy. have other than running back? Because uh, the offensive line, you don't really know that. I do. Their corners I, aren't great. Their offensive great. line's fine. Their corners aren't Byron great. Byron Murphy. He's all right. He's good. I think they, he's overrated. They have another. I think he's overrated. He's been really good. They have another guy who, I, I don't know his name, but I know he's been playing pretty well. They have two really great safeties. Their D-line is good. They got that rookie D-tackle that's playing pretty good. The linebackers, they got Isaiah Simmons. They have the first-round pick that they took last year. He's been having a better year. They have a team that can win. They have. It's that simple. Yes, but when the you look at they're not schedule, winning. And it's because their coaching is not good right now well yes play calling has been kind of lackluster right but i don't think you fire him after one bad season i'm not firing cliff kingsbury because he's a bad coach i'm firing him because you need to make a move and unfortunately coaches are the ones that get fired i don't think you fire him after one bad season number six arthur smith of the atlanta falcons is one of the most underrated head coaches in the nfl i'm buying it um i love arthur smith i I love everything he brings underrated i i guess i'll buy it they've been They've been better than what I've expected. They've been hanging in a lot of these games. It's like been one possession games. It's not like they're getting blown out every week. So, yeah, I'll say he's underrated right now. The San Francisco 49ers will not be able to reach their full potential because of their constant injuries, especially at the cornerback position. Um, Buying it. Who's hurt at corner right now? Everyone. I need names. (laughs) Ter- 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 what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? The F. Uh, the- Forty-three minutes and nineteen seconds. Remember yeah, that. yeah. The the, <laughs> uh, the Ward guy from the Chiefs. He's fine. Uh, Emmanuel Mosley. They don't have. They obviously did not bring back. Um, They're not contenders. You're saying because of these guys. They need a secondary. They well, got. They, they need got, a secondary. They yeah. probably got. They're not gonna like, be able to stop. They like, probably got guys like Michael Jaquette playing right now. <laughs> um. Maybe they go out and get a William Jackson. That's what they should do. And Greedy Williams get mm-hmm. him. Yeah, there we go. Um, they can fix it. I'm just saying that right know, now because they I don't know if they can changes. after I, the I, McCaffrey trade. But. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but I, I think that they can't reach their full, full potential because they they're missing. Richard yeah, Sherman. I'll buy they're that. Missing guys like I'll that. buy that. But the offense can. The defense. The can. offense can. But <laughs> that's not what we're talking about. All right. All right. I buy it. <laughs> Number eight, it's time for the Pittsburgh. I did not make this. It is time for the Pittsburgh Steelers to move on from Mike Tomlin. <laughs> sell, 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 sell. I am selling that. Um, Why would you move on from him? He's a good coach. You're just rebuilding. Exactly. You lost Big Ben. They're you like, lost your they're Hall like, of Fame they quarterback. They expect Kenny Pickett to come in and help them win games. No. Look at their offensive line. You can't block for Najee Harris. I think Sketch wants to know for recording. <laughs> we are. Um, but, yeah, don't fire him. Sell. Yeah. Sell, sell, sell. Number nine. This is a fun one. This is the one. Ready? 
I'm ready. In order for Justin Fields to reach his full potential quickly, the Chicago Bears need to pull a Cincinnati Bengals and get Fields a top receiver in the draft before going for the offensive line. I'm be- I'm buying that. Because they don't have receivers right now. Darnell Mooney, like you said, he's okay. He's average. He's not, We've said this before. Yeah. We have a video we still have to upload on he's like, live. He, said he's average. I, I like Darnell <laughs> Mooney, but like for me, he's like the average of a of a wide receiver. Like yes. he like I don't know. I mean, what what do we? He's an average good receiver. Like he'll get you a thousand yards, but that's it. Like just eight thousand. Like not one thousand five hundred. You know what I mean? So you're saying they need to bi- or get they a need number to get one him guy a number one of guy. Yes, line. they need to start with that because that's what the Bengals did. Yes, because I will buy that because this man can just scramble for days. And that's look, that's mostly why I good. said that too. Um. So yeah, get him a who's the number one receiver they can get right now. I, I don't know. There's plenty of guys right now. Go get a Jerry Judy. Go get a DJ Moore. If they wanted to help him this season, see what he's got, then yeah, they should make a trade for one of them. They have the draft capital to do they it. They do, too. but why would they do it? Uh, they're, yeah, they're, they're not there's, there's plenty they're of not receivers. Contenders. There's plenty of receivers in this draft and the next draft, so yeah. Exactly. But yes, I do buy that. All right. And last but not least, I had fun with this one. Because Peyton Manning played for the Colts and Broncos, the Manning curse is with both of these franchises for the unforeseeable future, which is why they have had bad luck with quarterbacks. The Manning curse? The Manning curse. The Eli man. doesn't have that curse. He's too good for that. Yeah, uh, I don't know. They've ha- the Giants have had the Manning curse since. But Daniel I'm saying Jones. the Broncos and the Colts, two teams that are struggling with their quarterback or court- yeah, quarterbacks. Um, is it the Manning curse? I think it is, is that what it is. I think it is. I'll buy it. I'm buying. I'm it. buying that because you know ever since Peyton Manning left, they had Andrew Luck, but Andrew Luck never did anything for them. Never, and like and nothing he had special. to retire early. <laughs> yeah, he had to retire early because he just couldn't be and in the shadow been of Peyton Manning. This carousel of <laughs> yeah, of Philip Phillip Rivers, Rivers, Carson Matt Wentz, Ryan. Matt Ryan, like and now Sam Ellinger. Yeah, and then like, the Broncos don't even get me started. Case Keenum. Yeah, Joe Flacco. <laughs> Joe Flacco. Jeez. Brock Osweiler. Brock Osweiler. Um. Yeah, I'm Jackson buying that. Lynch. It's the Manning curse. That's what it is. I think it's the Manning curse. It's the Manning curse. Yeah. The Peyton Manning curse. The forehead curse. <laughs> oh um, God. <laughs> Yeah, I'm buying that. All right. Well, that's all I got for you, Steven. I see, that's all you got for me? Yeah, it is. Do you got Wait, anything? We do have a hot take. We have a hot take? We have a hot take from our viewers. Okay. Marcus. Marcus, I'm calling you out here. Um, what did Mark say? Will Odell Beckham Jr. return to the New York Giants? No. No? No. No? No. No? You don't have the money. He we don't have money. the money. He wants money. How about that's this? Like, he pretty How much, about this? He like, openly came out I'll, and said he wants money. I'll tell this to Marcus. It won't happen this year. It will happen next year when we have the money. Odell Beckham Jr. will come back home and want to play for Brian Dable. So next year, not this year. That's my uh, okay. hot take response to Marcus. Okay. All right. So that's how. Um, that's, that's, how that's all you, I have to say. That's how you want to end it. Of course, you want to end it on the Giants. Seven and zero, oh, baby. <laughs> Go Birds. Go Birds. Um. All right. Yeah. So I'll end it off here. Thank you guys for listening to the podcast. If you guys want to see more, drop a like on this video. Subscribe to Chavanu. Make sure you follow our socials. We got Instagram. We got Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> we got Twitter. <laughs> we got TikTok. Man, oh man, we got a link tree as well. Um. Uh, what was that? That was like forty-eight fifteen. Well, let's just say around there. Um. But yeah, let's start. Let's start that. Yeah, over remember now. to follow us, leave likes, help us get discovered. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> Benchwire out. <laughs>